My name is Will McNeil and I work for a company called MPC. Uh, we're a creative studio. Uh, we work all over the world on a range of work from visual effects for feature films, visual effects for commercials, 2D animation, 3D animation. I work in MPC's motion design studio. Uh, we do animation mostly for commercials. It might range from anything as simple as an animated logo uh, right through to a complete commercial that we handle from the creative brief right through to the final delivery. Um, we've just finished a series of films for a company called uh, Novartis, and they are a pharmaceutical company. We were asked to make a series of 2D character animations for them to um, talk about how their product works and um, what it does, but with a kind of humorous uh, side to it. Uh, it's uh, six films featuring two characters who are a bit clumsy and get into a lot of trouble but also at the same time illustrate how this stuff works. We did it um, entirely in Adobe Applications, Illustrator, After Effects, and uh, edited it in Premiere. The Adobe Applications are sort of our go-to applications. When you're doing motion graphics, After Effects and Illustrator are just the applications that you use. Um, the artists in our studio know how to use them. They've come and trained up on them. The freelancers that we hire, they know how to use the applications. So they're what we count on, and they work and they work and they do exactly what we need them to do. The two applications we use the most are After Effects and Cinema 4D, and we rely on being able to use those two together. Um, a typical workflow if we are using Cinema 4D on a project is to obviously use it for all our 3D uh, applications, so uh, animating our cameras, doing all kinds of uh, 3D animation, and then bringing those renders into After Effects where we composite them uh, and add a lot of 2D elements and effects. Um, we also rely on using or bringing in the 3D information from Cinema 4D into After Effects um, to make those things sort of play nicely together. We've been bringing Premiere Pro into our, into our workflow, into our pipeline over the last couple of years. Uh, we were using Final Cut mainly before that and a little bit of Avid. Um, but it makes sense to use Premiere because it fits in so nicely with After Effects and Illustrator. And it's been a nice change actually. Um, I've been editing for about 20 years. I've used everything from the early versions of Avid right up through Final Cut Pro and Premiere. And it was a pretty easy change. It seemed very familiar. And it seems extremely powerful. We use Premiere for finishing our projects now. Um, and we put big, heavy files into it. And it handles them no problem. We typically use Illustrator for our early design. Uh, for instance, character design or logo design. Anything that involves you know, sort of detailed vector graphics. Illustrator is an essential tool for us. They also really work well together. So for instance, on a project we're doing recently, we were doing character animation where we design our characters in Illustrator, animate them in After Effects, and then finish off in Premiere. Anytime we wanted to make a change, for instance, a very slight change to one of our characters, we just went back to the original Illustrator files, made that change, and then just brought everything through the pipeline again automatically. That kind of seamless integration is really important to us, makes things work means we can hit deadlines. We really appreciate that.